Denver's chief meteorologist, Chris Boone. It's been a quiet start for the month of December, and that's just not for here in the Concho Valley, but for much of the United States. Still see that upper level ridge off towards the west. Really see those clouds kind of pouring down over it. That's that high pressure that's been sitting off towards the west, keeping us warmer as well as pretty quiet for the past couple of days. It's going to stay like that, at least for the next few days, and you start to see the upper level trough that's off towards the east, bringing in on those cooler temperatures. We're just kind of stuck here in the middle and enjoying relatively quiet but warm pattern. Again, we see that ridge of warmer temperatures working up through the Dakotas and in towards Montana. Again, they saw some record high temperatures today. We were pretty close ourselves, but we didn't break any records, just staying on the warmer side. As we kind of go into the evening hours, we're starting to see those cooler temperatures start to return. Three degrees shy of a record that was 83 degrees set back in 2012. We got up to 80 degrees, so again, the afternoon higher temperatures, that translates to some early morning warmer temperatures as well. We started off the day in the mid 40s. So again, above average for both the early morning as well as the afternoon. In fact, 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Again, we're going to continue that trend at least for the next couple of days. Tonight, temperatures already cooling off into the lower 50s. Again, you know, dew points in the 30s with those light winds at only about three miles per hour. So good news is we've been seeing a bit of a break from those winds. Temperatures across the area in the 50s for the most part, 50 in Coleman, 50 in Ballinger, 53 in Eden, a couple of 40s on the map down towards the southwest, 48 in El Dorado, 46 in Ozona. So again, cooling things off pretty nicely as we go into the overnight hours. Not going to drop a whole lot because again, those clear skies and the warming trend that we saw this afternoon and the winds for the most part relatively calm. We're going to still with see those calm winds for the majority of the overnight hours. Again, temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 40s. 47 are overnight low. We will start to see some of those increasing clouds. We've been seeing those clouds move in from the southwest. We're going to start to see a little bit of the lower level clouds work its way in. That's going to continue for us tomorrow as well. Again, temperatures returning once again to the lower 80s. Start to see a little bit of a breeze as well. It's definitely during the evening hours. Start to see some gusts up to 20 miles per hour and still hanging on to a little bit of cloud coverage as well. Still be plenty of breaks for some sunshine to kind of get through and get out. Otherwise, we'll be walking, looking for that push of moisture from the southwest. That could be bringing a chance for an isolated shower early on Friday morning, mostly for our eastern counties. So places like uh, Brady and Mason could be watching out for the chance for an isolated shower. Otherwise, I think we'll mostly be staying dry and just be looking at that increased cloud coverage. Our next chance at some rain will be coming in on late Sunday, early Monday as that front really starts to push through. Again, most of it stays off towards our east, but because that tail end of that cold front will be bringing that cloud coverage through the area, it can also be bringing an isolated shower or two to the Concho Valley as well. Again, for the most part, we'll be staying dry and then that pushes through. We'll be looking at relatively quiet conditions to kind of go into next week with some cooler conditions as well. The upper level ridge, that stays in place for the next couple of days. We'll start to see those warmer temperatures remain for us here in the Concho Valley. It won't be until Sunday. We start to see that dip of some cooler air. A little bit of an upper level trough starts to push through. You start to see those shades of green and blue. That starts to work its way down towards us by Sunday and in towards Monday. That's when we can finally get a break from these warmer temperatures, a little bit cooler and closer to where we should be for December. So breezy conditions for us tomorrow. Again, a couple more warm ones. Again, temperatures in the A's. A slight chance for a rain shower off towards the east for us on Friday. Then Saturday and Sunday, a little bit cooler. But we won't see the real big cool down until late on Sunday when that cooler air really starts to work in. That's going to be pulling us back down into the 60s for next week.